Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True, and uh, please visit our website, Excel-BoardTemplates.com, so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques and Excel dashboard tips and tricks. Okay, uh, lately I've been doing a lot of different data uh, cleansing, data uploads, migrations, all sorts of work like that. Uh, and you'll frequently find you'll have to do this when building your dashboard. Perhaps you're getting data uh, for your Excel dashboard from another system and maybe that system can only output it in a certain way. Uh, so for instance I had gone into uh, the help and was looking at the various functions that Excel can have. We've got them broken down into different types. Uh, math and trigonometry, financial, uh, informational, text, uh, they've got all sorts of different kinds there. Um, but I, I, don't, I want all of the types together uh, so that I can create uh, a different uh, sort of report or query uh, and I want the description in a separate field. Uh, now normally what I do is I will almost always jump to making a formula and so that's what this uh, video is about today is um, the couple of different ways that you can split that text up but see I always almost always jump to a formula so I'd say okay I'm gonna grab the left amount of text from this text and I want to find uh, the number of characters where we eventually see a quote and um, I'm going to do it from this text cell there in my parentheses and you'll see I'm pretty close I've got uh, the text I'm looking for and I just need to subtract one and I can ultimately uh, get rid of the quote so I can copy this down and then I can create a subsequent uh, formula let's go over to that page that I've already done that in. So I've created a subsequent formula in the description field that says, all right, now give me the right of cell B2. Um, and I'm going to take the entire length of how long is B2's text string. And I'm going to subtract out that same quote pattern that we saw before from B2. And then also I'm going to get rid of that quote pattern of the colon and the several spaces by subtracting another four. And as you can see here, it will uh, give me the text for the description we can uh, now copy that all the way down and it will return the information that we're looking for. So that's usually the first way that I almost always go to, but you know, there's another way that's uh, just as simple, or if not simpler, and I usually forget about it, but uh, uh, I'm trying to remember it on a daily basis since it saves so much time. What you want to do is highlight your data range and go up to your data ribbon under your data ribbon in the data tools the very first choice here is text to columns so text to columns is going to separate the contents from one cell into several subsequent cells and we can define where to break that on so highlight your range hit that button in the data tools section of your data ribbon let's move that over here so you can kind of see this in line uh, so we've got either a delimited choice or a fixed width choice uh, I'm not going to do fixed width because uh, math and trigonometry is a lot longer than financial, which is a lot longer than text. So we're going to say there is a delimiter. So there's a character like a comma or a tab that separates everything. I'm going to click on next. And uh, tab is typically the default here. What I want to do is uncheck that. And I don't see a colon anywhere in here. Semicolon, comma, space, but we have this other choice. We can choose the colon there and uh, it gives us a preview down below. If I had unchecked other, you notice the preview is gone and it really hasn't found any delimiters. Um, so I checked other with the colon and it's found that first break is what we're looking for right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on next and uh, it's going to show us um, the breakout and where the destination of these cells are going to be. Click on finish and you can see it is split up the type trigonometry, financial, it's gotten rid of that delimiter. Uh, we do have some extra spaces in here that we can trim up as well, uh, but that can be a lot simpler project. I'm actually more concerned with the type than I was the actual description. Um, so this is a quick and easy way to not have to fiddle with formulas when trying to split up text. Uh, so see how you can use text to columns in the data ribbon uh, for your next Excel dashboard project. Thanks, and I'll see you on our website, excel-boardtemplates.com. Please visit regularly and sign up as a user so you're sure to get the latest posting. Thank you.